Hello there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this fella. It is the Fluval C2 hang on the back filter. Uh, a big thank you to Matthew for sending me this, and I've got to give him some sort of props because it's got more super glue on than I have ever seen on a filter. At some point, this must have been absolutely smashed to bits, but he's managed to put it back together. Unfortunately, it hasn't got all the stuff in it that would normally come with this particular filter, but I'll link to a Fluval C2 video in the video description, which will show you how it normally comes set up. In this video, I'm basically just going to run through how I would set it up, and it is really, really easy. Now, apparently Matthew is going to be using this on a 30 litre tank, and 30 litres is oh nearly eight gallons for you guys in the US now before I get into the simple setup that I'm going to show you guys uh, I'll just kind of express the point again that a lot of these hang on the back filters and internal filters are designed for after sales so the initial price may not be very high but by the time you've bought cartridges and specific size foams and little additives and all sorts of stuff to go in them month on month on month on month they end up costing you a fortune so swapping them to something much cheaper is a, a good idea because then you've got a cheap filter at the initial point of purchase and really apart from the odd foam and pad in these various filters you don't really need to replace anything so going forward you've got a much cheaper option with what I'm going to show you now so the operation of this is just like every other hang on the back filter water's sucked up it goes down into a pump the pump pumps it back up it then goes through foams or pads then through some media and back out to the tank the flow can be adjusted by moving that although to be honest I don't think that'll adjust it much looking at where the pump intake is it doesn't seem to really shut it off much I can't see god unless there's a part missing it could be a part missing and as I say this did come in a pretty broken down sort of state <laughs> let's get the top off and have a look so here we've got various cartridges where things go in and on the back we've got another cartridge we are going to keep this one and reuse it and in here because the water comes uh, through here and kind of through the back of it and comes out the front we're going to put a piece of medium density foam ideally I'd like to go coarse medium fine in a filter like this there just isn't space for that so we're just going to put that in there like so and there's handy little fins inside of here to hold the foam in so now what comes through here what's the matter? what? come on so now the water comes in from the pump and because you've got all these bumps here the water should flow all the way around the back of this foam before it goes through into our next section so there's our pump down there that's the outlet for the pump that goes in there and that really completes the mechanical side of things as I said there's not much space see how much space we've got left if we use these things and try and put media in there but we can't get much in at all it just complicates matters so what I'm going to put into here is two small mesh bags of bio gravel and in each one of these bags there's 200 grams so in total there'll be 400 grams which in pounds is 0.8 eight pounds of media in here that smell nice yeah what do you reckon yeah now I sell these bags on the filter pro site 
if you buy them when they are full of media there's normally 300 grams in each bag that is a little bit too fat to fit into here 200 grams is about right one two that's it that's as complicated as this particular filter needs to be see from the back there the water is going to swirl all the way around in the back of here because you've got all that surface area there you're going to get good settlement in the back it then goes through that into the filter media back out and back into your tank very very simple there you, whoops there you go that is so simple you know that just saves you farting around buying specific cartridges and all that for it month in month out with that the media will last indefinitely the sponge you probably get a good year out of it so the ongoing costs of this particular filter are very very low let's see how many watts it is five watts so that's not going to cost you much at all to run or maintain this filter so because we're 400 grams in that makes this filter suitable for a tank of roughly 40 liters or 10.5 US gallons that's good because Matthew's going to be using it on a 30 litre tank so if anything it's a little bit over the top and as you know you can't go over the top with the filtration it's always best to have a little bit too much than not enough now the use of media in bags like that does allow most of the water just to go around the sides of the bag but because the water flow through the pieces of media and also through the spaces between the pieces of media inside the bag is really really slow you tend to get a like a little bit extra boost as far as the anaerobic side of things go you'll see similar systems set up called not PCP BCB anoxic filtration or something else as well I can't remember there's a there's numerous different names for that sort of thing and I will say all of those methods work but the better quality media you can have in there the better it works so the bio gravel because it's made of grains of sand which is like you know when they're all stuck together with little tunnels between them each piece of media has a massive surface area so in a small situation like this using a media like the bio gravel is absolutely perfect if you can't get that you can use pumice you can use the mineral cat litter which is pumice um, you can even use you know, gravel in the bags because it's better than nothing certainly better than plastic media uh, ceramic rings are a little bit too big uh, unless you get the old style uh, God, what's it called? Eheim Mech, which is really tiny ceramic rings. They would work pretty well in the mesh bags and they would also allow it to be quite floppy so it would fit into that small situation. Obviously, to me, the bio gravel is the best because you get the, the most amount of surface area into the smallest space. Now, obviously, I have showed the bio gravel because that, to me, is by far the best thing to put into small filters because it is made of sand and powdered glass which sticks it together as well as a few trace elements and so on it's really well structured as far as the internal structure goes and the material it's made from is very receptive to bacteria so it colonizes exceptionally fast supports aerobic and anaerobic bacteria for your ammonia nitrite and nitrate reduction it allows you to get maximum surface area into minimal space and that's exactly what you're after when you're dealing with such small filters. Thanks again to Matthew for sending me this. Check out the link with the fluval video showing you what normally comes in this particular filter. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.